Good day everyone, today I'm adding to my Binance tutorial playlist. And in this video, I'll be covering OCO orders, which stands for one cancels the other. These order types allow you to set a take profit and a stop loss at the same time using the Binance spot market. I also made this video for my BitGit playlist, so if you trade over on BitGit and you'd prefer to follow along over there, I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set up an OCO order, I'll first need to get us over to the spot market. To do that, I'm going to come up here to the top of the screen, hover over trade, and then click on spot in this menu here. If this is your first time seeing the Binance spot market that looks a little bit confusing, I'll invite you to watch my Binance step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, where I break everything down in here for you. Feel free to check out that video and then come on back to this tutorial here. I'll leave a link to my Binance beginner tutorial in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. The first thing we need to do is choose a pairing. I'm currently set to BTC versus Tether, which will work perfectly fine for this tutorial. But you can find your pairings over here on the right hand side next to the chart. Once you choose your pairing, we'll need to configure the order panel. To do that, we'll come down here to the order panel. We'll find a little triangle next to stop limit. It'll expand into a drop down menu and we'll just come down here and click on OCO. This order type stands for one cancels the other, and it's going to allow us to set a take profit as well as a stop limit at the same time. Now that the order panel is configured, we need to choose a price point that we wish to take profit at and a price point that we wish to set up a stop loss at. So let's come up here to the chart and just for fun, I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark out the top of this pivot right here. Maybe something like that. Good enough for this demonstration. Let's imagine that we want to use this price point to set up our take profit at. We can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that horizontal coming in at 30,734. So let's come down here to the order panel and on the sell side, we'll type that into price. We'll go 30,734. If the price of Bitcoin increases to 30,734, we'll be selling our Bitcoin in this particular situation. The next step is to choose a stop price. This price point is going to act as a trigger that tells Binance to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's come back up here to the chart. I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools. And let's just imagine that we want to set up our stop price, maybe somewhere just down below this wick right here. And I'll go ahead and mark that out with this horizontal. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart is a price point correlating to that horizontal coming in at 26,412. So what we'll do is we'll come down to our order panel on the sell side here and we'll type that into stop price. We'll go 26,412. If the price of Bitcoin comes down to 26,412, that's going to trigger Binance to place a limit order to sell our coins. So now we need to choose a limit price. So let's come back up here to the chart and I'll zoom it in just a little bit like so. And let's just go ahead and set up a horizontal, maybe somewhere just down below this little stutter step in the market right here. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point correlating to that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 25,975. So what we'll do is we'll come down here to the order panel on the sell side and we'll type that into limit price, 25,975. This will be the limit price that Binance places to sell our coins if our stop price gets hit. So there's a couple things to know about this. The first thing is, is I like to leave enough breathing room between my stop price and my limit price. That way, if my stop price gets hit, Binance has enough time to place my order to sell my coins at 25,975. If price action is moving really fast and manages to get below your limit price before Binance sells your coins, they'll just be placed as a limit order on the order book. You won't actually sell them. You'll be waiting for price action to bounce to come back up to your limit price before the order fills and executes. Now, Binance is really quick about getting these orders through like most exchanges today. It's just something I don't like to leave to chance. The second thing to know is that your coins will sell for a higher price than your limit price if there's a better price available on the order book when your stop price gets hit. So my particular situation here, if Bitcoin was to begin to retrace and comes down and hits my stop price at 26,412, Binance is going to move to sell my coins at 25,975 or better if there's a better price point available 
when my stop price gets hit. So you can always feel comfortable about leaving a little bit of breathing room between these two price points. At the end of the day, I just want to make sure that if my stop price gets hit, that Binance has enough time to sell my coins. I don't want to end up with the limit order placed on the order book and price action down here and waiting for it to come back up and fill my order. Now we need to come back down here to our order panel and choose an amount of our coins we wish to sell if our take profit gets hit or our stop loss gets hit. Of course, you'll be able to see your available balance right up here at the top. So you could always put a custom amount in. But for this tutorial, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and slide the slider bar up to 100%. And I'll sell all my Bitcoin, whether my stop loss gets hit or my take profit gets hit. Once you have this order panel configured the way that you want it, you just come down here and click on sell. Now we've placed that OCO order. And if we come down here to open orders, we'll be able to find the details of it. You can see right here up at the top is our limit order to sell. If the price point of 30,734 gets hit, but right below that, we can also see our stop loss limit order coming in at 25,975 with a trigger condition at 26,412. So to quickly recap, if the price of Bitcoin was to increase and come up to our target rate here at 30,734, I'd be selling all of my Bitcoin. If the price of Bitcoin rolls over and comes down, hitting my stop price right here, my coins will sell at the limit price of 25,975 or better if there's a better price available in the order book when the stop limit gets hit. If my stop limit gets hit, it's automatically going to cancel my limit price to take profit. If my take profit limit price is hit, it'll automatically cancel my stop loss for me. One order cancels the other. This OCO order will remain active until either the take profit is hit, the stop limit is hit, or we manually cancel it. So if at any point you want to cancel this, just come down here to open orders. And over here on the right hand side, you'll find a little trash icon. You can use that to cancel them individually, or you can just click right here where it says cancel all, confirm. And as you can see, I just removed those orders. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis, choose price points that make the most sense for you on the asset that you're trading, as well as the time frame that you're trading on. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can set up an OCO order on the Binance spot market. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Binance tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.